Okay, in this video I just want to talk about the magnitude or um, the length of a vector. So suppose a vector A has components um, A1 and A2. So again, all that means is if you basically find the x-coordinate of A1 and the y-coordinate of A2, put a dot there. If you start the vector at the origin and make it stop at the um, at that point, that's what that vector looks like. So this is the vector a1, and we could get the length or magnitude, so this is notation for the magnitude. We put it um, in little absolute value bars, <clears throat> and basically you're just using Pythagorean theorem. Um, so here we would have to take um, a1 minus 0 squared plus a2 minus 0 squared, um, and we would get the length of the vector being this. If your vector is three-dimensional, um, so suppose vector B has components B1, B2, and B3, um, to figure out the length of that or the magnitude, you just do the same thing. You take B1 squared plus B2 squared and then B3 squared. So just tack on an extra term underneath the radical. That's all you have to do. So, alright, this is nothing at all real heavy, so I'm just going to do a couple here. So suppose our one vector is uh, 3, 1, negative 2. Well then, the length or the magnitude of that vector would be the square root of 3 squared plus 1 squared plus negative 2 squared. And that's simply going to give us 9 plus 1 plus 4, or equivalently, the square root of 14. And there's really not a lot of simplification that you can do here with this, so um, ta-da, there's the length of it, okay? And likewise, if we do the other one as well, same thing's going to happen. So now I'm just writing this as 5i minus j plus 2k, and remember we could write that vector b as 5 and then negative 1 and then 2. Okay, so if we compute this one, I'm getting a weird little glare off my light here, so I'm going to put it over here on the left side. Um, so it says then the magnitude of this vector would simply be equal to 5 squared plus negative 1 squared plus 2 squared, and that's going to give us 25, the square root of 25, plus 1, plus 4, or equivalently, that'll give us the square root of 30. <clears throat> um, let's see, again, I don't think there's a tremendous amount of simplification that we can do here. I can write 30 as 2 times 3 times 5. Well, those are now the prime factors. I can't factor anything out. So um, the square root of 30 here would be kind of the simplified form of the radical. Okay, so nothing real crazy, just finding the length of a uh, vector, but you do this in a lot of other problems, so um, nothing hard, but certainly something that's crucial, and you want to be able to do this when dealing with vectors.